Okay. Welcome our seniors in here and welcome to all of you that came to join us to celebrate this senior class of 2020. Tonight, our welcome is going to come from Zachary Holtzclaw. Zachary, your parents need to unmute you. I'm sorry, I did not know I was muted. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Welcome everyone to Welcome everyone to the 2020 Sycamore Academy graduation. This is a big night for all of us students. It's been very fun, it's been a very fun school year and we're just happy all of you could be here tonight. Thank you very much. And our prayer will be given by Andrea White. Please bow your heads with me. Father in heaven, we thank you for this happy occasion and for all of those who are here to witness it. We ask that all that is said and done here tonight be done to your honor and glory. We dedicate this Sycamore Academy class of 2020 and the ceremony to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The scripture will be given by Sarah Radke. Our scripture tonight is Philippians 1, 9 and 10. And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. Thank you, Sarah. The seniors have prepared a dedication for their parents and the parents have um, prepared a tribute for them. So the, students will be, the student will begin and they will be followed by their parents. And the first student tonight is going to be Zachary Holtzclaw. I just want to say thank you so much to my parents for supporting me and being there for me through all of my school. They've helped me out so much. Thank you to my dad for teaching me so much and taking me on to so many trips and just having a bunch of laughs and teaching me many, many, many life lessons. And thank you so much for my mom being there for me and helping me out whenever I needed it. Just Thank you so much, and thank you to Ryan for being best friend ever, and us having a lot of fun, and just thank you so much. You guys have been amazing, and thank you to McKenna for being a great friend as well, and teaching me a bunch of photography trips. It's been fun, so thank you so much. You say something. <laughs> okay, is it the parents' turn? Yeah. The parents' turn. All right. Um, we are proud, proud parents, for sure. And uh, Zachary is just such a great guy with a big heart. He, <laughs> stand up here. Bye. He is a loving brother, come here, to his sister. Get on there so everybody can see it. Bye. To his sister Zoe. And she looks up to Zach, just as you can imagine a little sister does. Um, He's been a blessing from day one, and my best friend. <laughs> and we are just so proud of him. And the great news that we have, that he is going to stick around and go to ASU online and take computer science. Yeah. Um, we, we're just... Yeah, mom's crying. She's been <laughs> up to We're just so thrilled, just really thrilled that he chose to do that. So, and we appreciate all the teachers and um, Sycamore Academy. You guys have been great. And we feel like that he is um, prepped for college. Yeah. That he, um, you know, Zach has did all this work himself. And I really haven't had to motivate him. So we're just feeling great about things. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Ryan Dalt. Okay. Um, I'll keep it short and simple. Uh, well, this has been um, horrifying, first of all. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank my parents for always having my back and uh, helping me out with my schoolwork. I'd like to 
also thank my bro Zach for keeping me motivated throughout the school year. That really helps. And also for being a great friend in general. The best friend I've ever had, best friend I ever will have. Uh, and also thank you for both my aunts that are here today. Thank you for coming. That also means a lot. Thank you for showing up. Uh, I will now take my computer out to them so they can say a few words due to te technical difficulties we've had earlier. So here we go. Yeah. Here, do you guys want to say anything? Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, there I am. Hi. I just want to say I, I remember the day we brought my home from the hospital and I was so scared that I was going to didn't come with instructions. And everything that we've done and done and we raised a fine young man. And I hear that from anybody that, that meets him. He's such a fine young man. And I was skeptical about homeschooling at first. But now in the end, I look, look back and I, I can see that it was the best decision we've ever made. Because with my schedule, I'm um, working swing shift. I was able to have a lot more time at home and, and a lot more time with my son. And I have one wonderful young man that I'm very proud of today. I couldn't be more proud. I can't. I can't. I'll have to take time for one. I'm going to cry. So I, can't. I guess that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Sycamore Academy. Thank you. Thank you, Dot family. Andrea. I want, to you, I want to thank all of you for being here to celebrate my graduation with me. I especially want to thank my family for their help over these past years as I worked my way through school. My parents for their support and encouragement, and my brother for putting up with my shenanigans over these last several years. And when we were younger, my multiple attempts to baptize him in hotel swimming pools. <laughs> High school was tough sometimes. Chemistry and plain geometry are harder for some than they are for others. I also want to thank my teachers, Miss Erin. Ms. Shirley, Ms. Lurie, and Ms. DeAndre for their tremendous help and encouragement over this past year. You all helped make this day possible and I'm grateful. I wanna thank all my friends for their love and encouragement. We have been through many adventures and laughs together over these last few years. The day has finally come and I'm looking forward to moving on with my life. And I sincerely thank you for, for the part you have played in helping me achieve this. Thank you, Andrea. And now the whites. Okay, so we have a presentation to show real quick. Go right ahead. Share your screen. So, minimize. I'm gonna minimize. Share my screen. I don't know. <laughs> Technical no, things no, are no, happening. No, just hit screen. Okay, and now am I sharing? Yes, you are. Okay. You can start. Andrea, you are such a blessing to us, and we're grateful you're our child. Sometimes you worried us, but mostly you were poised and had your own sense of style, which changed as you grew. We really appreciated your early interest in gardening, overshadowed by your interest in music, which you still take very seriously, even when you're performing alone, in small groups, in large groups, and in singing in small groups and big ones. But with all this talent, you still hang out with us, which we appreciate because you know how we are. You're a great sister. And we're glad you and your brother get along so well and are such good friends. You've helped him to focus and learn important things that took time to goof off together, even just sometimes with the dog. You like to travel, no matter the method. But your idea of horsepower has changed over the years, sometimes in extreme ways. You see the fun wherever you go and the solemnity. You're okay with the cold and the heat. Always willing to get out there and dig in. Always happy to help others and to learn new things keeping your eyes on Jesus the whole way. You've met some interesting people, some with odd jobs, but all really nice. You've always been ready to have a good time. You're a good friend to the people you've met from everywhere. You're fantastic 
at staying in touch and making it fun. No matter how big of the group you're in or where, you're a sweet, wonderful child of God who's grown up in the knowledge of the Lord. And we love you more than we can describe. Congratulations, sweet girl. And to the teachers and staff at Sycamore, thank you. For the class of 2020, this is our prayer. Listen to the counsel and accept discipline that you may be wise the rest of your days. Many plans are in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord will stand. Thank you, White family. Now, Sarah Radke. First of all, I would like to say thank you for my, to my teachers. You've helped me so much these past years. Both your resilience and your patience has helped teach me difficult concepts and instilled a joy of learning. You have made difficult concepts some of the simplest ideas to understand. Coming to school was not a burden, and I feel like I have an education that has helped prepare me for the future. Thank you. To my little brother, Ryan, it has been interesting growing up with you. Even though I am older than you, sometimes it feels like you understand my homework better than I do myself. However, I still laugh because we're siblings and there is absolutely nothing you can do to change that. We are a family whether we laugh together or fight together. Thank you for always being there. Most of all, to my parents. I have made countless mistakes, but throughout the way, you guys have always been there for me, pointing me in the right direction. Your patience and guidance have helped teach me more than how to solve a math problem or how physics applies to everyday life. You have also taught me how to sew buttons onto shirts and how to drive without running over people's feet. While teachers and friends have also helped guide me through school, you faced the hardest part. Everything I know and can do is credited to you and your magnificent job in raising me. Thank you. Tammy and Mike. All right, we're gonna share our screen here. All right, Sarah, about 17 years ago, you came into this world as a very beautiful, small infant that could stick out your bottom lip while the nurses were That's still not. working with you. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> the button on the middle. We remember the nurse looking at your bottom lip saying, she's going to be a daddy's girl. Before long, you were known as Daddy's Little Tiggerbug. You grew up so fast, it did not seem possible that all of a sudden you were starting kindergarten. When, you, when we started you in public school, we were blessed to have excellent teachers that were well-loved by the students. Your love of reading and learning was immediately obvious. We moved to Montana and tried to make sure you were in an excellent learning environment. We soon learned that what is intended to help one exceed can, uh, can turn into a leash holding you back. As parents, we learned sometimes we need to take the leash off and give a small push forward. Little did we know that that small push ended up snowballing into an avalanche of learning and success. Your ability to learn and exceed our ability to teach you through homeschool somehow led us to Sycamore Academy. What a blessing that has been. You have been, uh, you've worked harder than we ever thought. Now, through your desire and drive and with the guidance of your teachers at Sycamore, you have exceeded all expectations. You're not even 17 years old yet, and you will have completed high school and a full year of college credits. Next fall, you will enter college with a full year of credits already completed at just 17. I wish you knew how proud we are of you, but we're not just proud of you for your academic achievements because you can also cook and bake. Years ago, like many little girls, you wanted to cook and bake and we bought you a play kitchen, which you spent hours with. Sometimes we would find portions of an actual meal or snack safely put away in your play kitchen. Unfortunately, the play kitchen did not have the same capability of a real refrigerator. Before long, you wanted to learn to cook for real, so we gave you a simple recipe to start with, and you did well. Soon you started looking up recipes for yourself and getting creative. Now I am the envy of everyone at work when I show off your amazing and beautiful creations that taste better than they look. 
Sycamore Academy requires students to perform volunteer service during their high school years. With this volunteer requirement, we worked hard to find something that you could serve, you, you could do while serving and enjoying it. This resulted in you volunteering at an assisted living center where you served food and painted nails. While working there, you've grown attached to many residents that you've heard amazing stories about, including those of World War II and even a lady that played baseball during those war years, such as what's depicted in the movie, A League of Their Own. You have developed an appreciation for the older generation that few at your age have done. This volunteering turned into a regularly scheduled job and then advanced into working shifts as one of the cooks and getting more hours in, even during this COVID pandemic. Regardless of the paid hours you put in, you still volunteer your time painting nails so you can talk with residents there. Now, with all the extra shifts you are working, we are so thankful you can drive yourself from work, even though we worry every time you walk out of the house with the keys. We are learning to accept your driving and to keep our distance from the car when you're in the driver's seat. And don't worry about my foot. It's healed up well and it does not hurt anymore. The time has gone by all too fast and you are grown beyond your ears. You have learned to reason and consider every aspect of things before you make a decision. You are a caring, loving person who no doubt will continue to make your parents proud. We know that college has a lot of worries for you, but we'll you will face this challenge as you have by, with all challenges by overcoming and excelling. We love you. Thank you so much. Our teachers have uh, some honors they would like to bestow on these students. Um, uh, Mrs. Velez, do you need to be teaching China tonight? Mm -hmm. Bonnie? I'm only teaching the later class, not the earlier class tonight. I'll let you go ahead and begin. All right. I teach aquatic science, which is a course that I dearly love. First time in my career of 24 years that I've been able to teach that course, that was what I was, an aquatic scientist prior to teaching. Um, and so I teach Ryan and Zach. Ryan, better known as Shark Dude, <laughs> delivered the best biological organism report that I have witnessed in my 24 years of teaching. He's truly an expert on it. Obviously, it didn't all happen during class time. He has an interest in sharks, but he was well informed He's, he truly is an expert on sharks and it showed in his report. So for that, the best organism report over 24 years award goes to Ryan Dalt. For Zach, I'm giving him the Caring Heart Award. Um, when we were studying in the last unit, the lack of water on the face of the earth, how some people have to walk three and a half miles one way just to get dirty water, it really touched all of our hearts and we decided to do a project. I'm going to share my screen for a moment here to give you just a little snippet of why he's getting this award. One moment while I share my screen. This is what he says, why should individuals have to walk over a mile a day to get water that isn't even clean? No one should have to go through this, but sadly many people all across the globe have to go through this. The water is dirty, full of germs and deadly parasites. The water causes many diseases, such as typhoid, dysentery, cholera, guinea worms, and often fatal diseases. And you're getting just a little snippet of what you're going to see in the newsletter. Um, this touched our hearts so much that we decided that we would do a project. And Zach was the lead on that project to be able to help people get the water that they need. So thank you guys for a great year. Thanks for being good guys. I will give you this. Stay close to the Lord. There is no one else that will deliver you. Regardless of all of the talents, all of the promise, all of everything, all things are possible with Christ and nothing is possible without him. Keep him close in your heart and you'll get where he wants you to go. Thanks guys. Thank you, Mrs. Velez. Lisa, did you have some? Lisa Dulcy? No, I did not. Okay. I, I didn't know if you had, I knew you were here, but I didn't know if you had any. No worries. No. Renee, did you bring any? 
you didn't teach these kids, did you? I didn't think so. Um, Miss Erin. All right, I do have, I have three. Um, I am going to give <laughs> Ryan an award of creative profile art. Okay, so he comes to class every, I've taught him only one year this year, and he would always come with a profile of art some kind, it was always different. And so I was always fascinated, I'm here to ask him, how did you do it? And he's like, oh, I did this, and I'm like, you know what, never mind. I, I'm just very creative, I'm, thank you for being that. So that is your award for me, it's the creative profile art. Okay, Zach, I've taught you for, well, let's see, three years now? Yeah, three years. Um, so I'm going to give you the example uh, award for example leadership. You always cruise through my classes and led the pack, so to speak. And even though you were ahead, you would still come back and help the class continue. Whether that was in world history, world geography, I don't think it's geography with you, world history, um, U.S. history, economics and government, you always were ahead of the pack, but you always came back because you were a leader and you led my classes. And I appreciated that, Zach. <clears throat> Andrea, I know I only had you for one class and it was very short, it was too short. And I appreciate your leadership, your positive leadership. So I'm awarding you with positive leadership in my class. And you were always like, yes, let's do this. Even though it's a freshman class, Andrea, you just like, let's do this guys and go. And you always had a positive, always had a positive smile and everything. So I appreciated this stuff. So all my seniors here, Thank you for making my teaching experience with you guys so much more enjoyable. So have a great year, and I can't wait to see what you are going to conquer in this world. So have a great summer. Thank you for coming to my classes. Thank you, Miss Erin. Okay, Mr. Rodney, you didn't teach these kids this year. I don't think you had any. No. Okay, so I'm... I'm the one. I have had all four of these kids. This class holds two of the very first students we had, Sarah Radke and Zachary Holtzclaw. When we first started online teaching, the Radkes and the Holtzclaws were two of the first families we had. So you hold a place just very dear to my heart. When I see you, I feel like I've helped raise you and it's just amazing. I can't believe that you are both graduating. Zachary, you're still a little sixth grader to me. Is that when you started? Do you know? I don't remember what grade it was. I think he was third. I think he was third or fourth, wasn't he? I don't. Well, I didn't have him that early because I didn't teach the, the, those kids, but you're still a little kid to me. You're not ready to be a high schooler. You're not ready to graduate. That's how I will always picture you in my head. You were a total boy. You'd probably rather been doing anything than sitting there, but day after day, you sat there. It was you and Kenzie Phillips, and we worked together, and we got through things, and you worked away, and you got it done. It seems like it was yesterday, and it also seems like it was forever ago, but you have grown up before our eyes. Your classmates, I, I, it was interesting to hear Miss Erin say, you're helpful, and you came back. Your classmates say you are, are so helpful. They have learned to depend on you. They depend on you to inspire them. You were inspiring in photography. You have an artistic side that I did not realize you had uh, at the very beginning. And you've developed that artistic side. When we interviewed some of your classmates over and over, the word was, Zach is so helpful. And um, you're also one of our on-site tech tech men because even though we're teaching in an online environment the kids teach us more than we know and so when there's a problem we'll either yell for zach or one of the others to come through and they usually can they'll say oh miss Lori, calm down just touch this button and you'll get it fixed so zach you have been amazing this next year is going to be our first year not to be in class and see your smiling face um i cannot believe it we are going to miss you and Ryan, you were here a couple of years ago and we got to know you. You immediately fit in. You got along with the other students. You just came right in. You worked well with others. You worked great in a group setting. And the very first year that you were here, you and Zach formed a friendship. 
that I hope lasts forever. Uh, and we, uh, Brian came back this year for your senior year and you just transitioned back in like you hadn't left. You are resourceful and practical. You have worked hard and we all know your love for Legos and cars. So as you pursue this, uh, your future IT, I know that those things that you love are going to be the driving force and you will be successful at whatever you do. Andrea, you just began your senior year here at Sycamore Academy. And honestly, it feels like you've been here the whole time. You just kind of slid in the door and you just fit right in. And I feel like I've always known you. You just, you are such a joy. You have the most gr gracious demeanor. You are always pleasant. You have a sunny disposition. You get along with everyone. I have never heard you complain. You persevere, you complete tasks. You rolled your eyes, I guess you must complain a little bit. <laughs> you are a great addition to any class. And um, I noticed that your dad said you have a sense of humor. You definitely have a twinkle in your eye. And uh, I get that you are very funny. I wish we had another year to get to enjoy you. You have been a great addition. We're so thankful that you joined us this year. And Sarah, oh my goodness, girl, I may not get through this without crying. You have been amazing. You inspire me to be more organized and to get more done. You've edited the yearbook two years in a row with very little, if any, help from me. This year, you took over the school news newsletter like a pro. You are an encourager. And if you ever want to do something besides write, you would be a great teacher. Often, this, she sits by my, she's my right-hand girl. She comes into study hall. Often, Madeline and Anna Fisher would come in and go, um, is Sarah here? And I'd say, no, well, I have a question about English. And I'd say, oh, I can answer it. We'll wait for Sarah. <laughs> because they knew Sarah probably would get it right. And I may not know the answer. So Sarah was so helpful. The students depended on her. I watched you make close friendships with Julie and Kirsten. I hope those friendships last through heaven. And I cannot wait to see your real face in August when you come back here and go to school. And I won't have to see you through a screen anymore, but there are no words to tell you how much you're going to be missed. This class is an amazing class and they are very loved. And we are so excited that they get to move on, but we're so happy that we had a part in their high school years. So I am now going to introduce them to you. Andrea White plans on majoring in radiology technology and attending Tulsa Community College. She wants to do some traveling within the United States after she graduates from college. Ryan will be going to Arizona State University online, taking either IT or some computer related degree. Zachary Holtzka also is planning to attend the same college of Arizona State University. It's a great online program. He's excited to achieve a degree in information technology, which will allow him to become a health IT software developer, computer programmer, research scientist, or all of those Zach. Can't wait to see where you all go. Sarah Radke is planning on attending college in the very place that I live. And she is pursuing a bachelor's degree in, in English with an emphasis in writing. And she plans on pursuing a career in journalism and technical writing. This is an amazing class I want to present to you, the Sycamore Academy graduating class of 2020. Seniors, you may move your tassels to the left. Congratulations, we are so proud. And you can throw them up and yell. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations, seniors. Thank you all for attending.
Sarah, next year it'll be you. <laughs> I'm excited. Thanks, Sarah. I left, but I wanted to give. I wanted to say congratulations to all the graduates. Andrea, so proud of you. <laughs> there we go. Congratulations, Andrea. John Thank you. Good to see you too. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Michaela, you're doing us so much. Congratulations.